I'm Tali Karim. And I'm Joshua Tyler. And we live in Kyneton, Victoria on Tungarung land. We pay our respects to elders, past, present and emerging. We moved here about six years ago. But there's nothing like a pandemic to make you appreciate the space that you have. For the last five months, we've spent almost every single day together. At times, even five acres hasn't seemed like enough. We wrote and filmed this in three-minute bursts while attempting to teach our two children at home. We hope you enjoy it. Cheers. I've always felt like the, the pleasure was in the fantasising about the thing, not, not the actual doing. Who, who said anything about doing? I might fantasise about looking sharp, but who wants to deal with all that ironing? Not me. The orgies of ancient Rome. Fun, sure, but, but, but think of all the mess. Look, TV was invented for passive adventurers. Tenzing Norgay didn't own Ugg boots and a widescreen TV. He owned hiking boots and an ice axe, so I could watch him climb Mount Everest on my widescreen TV in my apartments. So when I said, let's watch grand designs and escape to the country, uh, that didn't mean I had grand designs to uproot our city lives and actually escape to the country. <laughs> no, 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 it meant let's sit on our asses and watch other people do it. You want a copy? Yeah. I'm not very good at sitting still or lying down for very long. I do it while I sleep, obviously, but that's out of necessity rather than desire or compulsion. That includes television. I could live without it. I mean, why would you watch people cooking when you can cook an amazing meal yourself? Why would you watch people playing sport or gardening or having sex when you could actually be doing it? Maybe. He used to play this song and there was this line in it. It goes, where's the crime in wasting time with you? It's quite a sweet song actually, but I could never quite get on board with the sentiment. I mean, anything that's wasted is bad, right? Not used to its full potential. And I don't think we should be wasting anything. Definitely not our time, it's short. And there's a lot to be done. Could you pass me the Phillips head, please? No, the Phillips head. The Phillips head. Look, I don't know who Philip is, but he should have bought this shit hole. Oh, it's a beautiful house with lots of bedrooms. It's a shack. That's what it is. It's a shack. On five acres of beautiful land. Clad entirely in asbestos. The builder who did the inspection said it had great bones. He said it's going to be a lot of work and he was <clears> right. <throat> there isn't a scrap of carpet anywhere. Just bare floor, wood, just whatever it's called. Yellowtail. That's a wine. We've got kangaroos, echidnas, and so many birds. Nave bush, a winter creek. And the ad for the house said, and I quote, this project would suit a builder or renovator or tradie. They didn't even call it a house. They called it a project. And notice it didn't say perfect for a pair of riders. <laughs> but I saw its potential. I saw our potential. And did you tell them about the pepper pies? Okay, the pepper pies are pretty good. And the sourdough subscription. All right, we get sourdough delivered. This place is a foodie's mecca. We traded in the Vietnamese fishmongers of Marrickville for a central Victorian hipster heaven. I mean, the tagline for this region is naturally cool. We fit right in. Obviously. You can even get vegan donuts at the farmer's market every Saturday morning. Not that you make it to the markets often. Yeah, because I'm not a vegan. On Saturday morning, I like to sleep in. I've noticed. For five days straight, getting the kids to school on time feels like a combination of Groundhog Day and the invasion of Normandy. Go, 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 come on, what are you doing? It's good, you're gonna be late. He says that as though his life is somehow separate to mine, as if I'm not right next to him yelling. Where are the bags? I've already got the bags. Come on, we're going to be late. Have <laughs> your shoes on. She put them on ages ago. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, please don't forget to call the electrician today. They never return my calls. So yeah. By Friday night, I've got a bit of good old fashioned shell shock. So I self medicate the good old fashioned way with an old fashioned. I set my Saturday alarm clock for Sunday and I go to sleep with my fingers crossed that I won't get woken up by power tools. I tend to do my best work in my pajamas. It's, it's always been this way, actually. I think I realized it when I was young, making my parents breakfast in bed. There was a 
better flow if I stayed in my PJs. You could taste it, I'm sure. It's like having a shower and getting dressed washes away all the magic of your dreams. So now if I can, I ride in my pyjamas, garden in my pyjamas, rip down walls in my pyjamas. Don't overthink it, you know. Get in there before the sunrise. Before coffee. Before the weight of the day slows you down. Before you're making rational decisions. By the time it's 8am, you've achieved something with your life. Done something. She says that as if her life is separate from mine, as if I can't hear the power drill ripping through the fake wood walls outside the bedroom where I'm trying to sleep. He likes it, actually. I mean, he says he doesn't, but he actually likes it. When it comes down to it, he's the tortoise. I'm the hare. Tortoise wins. I'm happy with that metaphor. <laughs> yeah, it wins, but, I mean, I'll prepare the race course, paint the lines, advertise in the local paper, get the council permit, find the sponsors, organise the volunteers to run the sausage sizzle, make ribbons for the winners, and then, only then will I run the race. There wouldn't even be a race if it wasn't for me. OK, look, a renovation was her dream, not mine, but, but I'm on board now. I never considered myself a handyman, but now I own two drills, a hammer drill, what even is that? Two ladders, a staple gun, a liquid nail gun, a spack filler gun. I own guns, a laser stud finder. I've got lasers. I've got a nose hair trimmer, a hedge trimmer, a chainsaw and a ride on lawnmower. But this isn't just about me boasting about my manly possessions. No, no, the point is I know how to use these things now. If the tap doesn't produce any water, I crawl under the house with my phone and watch YouTube videos about how to fix the water pump. Shakespeare did that. Hemingway did that. It turns out writing on its own is quite emasculating, but combine it with handyman work and you feel like MacGyver. It's true. He's learned a thing or two. So have I. On a good day, I've been renovating since sunrise, so by 11am I'm knackered. My pyjamas are covered in sawdust. No doubt I've incurred some kind of wound to my hand or fingers from some kind of tool that I don't have time to YouTube how to use. The hair is ready for a little nap. And there he is, the tortoise, ready with a coffee and a plate of breakfast. And so I pass on the baton and he takes off where I left it. Slowly and surely, he spack fills the holes that I've accidentally made or paints over spots I've missed in my hurry. There's something about this place. Trees, towering giants here before European invasion. The ibis that circled the dusk skies Terrified of fire in the summertime, but looking forward to lighting them in the wintertime. Planting things in autumn that finally get to show off in spring. Watching our kids pick flowers as they get followed around by chooks. This isn't time wasted. This is time to pause. Only for a minute, because then our son turns on his bedroom light, blows a fuse, and the house is thrown into darkness.